My name is Najala Nyabola and I am a writer and a political analyst based in Nairobi. I am the author of Traveling While Black, Essays Inspired by Life on the Move, which is a series of reflective essays around the themes of migration, race, equality, inclusion, gender, and travel as an entry point for understanding some of these themes. I'm also the author of Digital Democracy, Analog Politics, How the Internet Era is Transforming Politics in Kenya, which is a reflection on what I call Kenya's first digital decade, so between 2007 and 2017, and the social and political transformations that have occurred around the digital era in Kenya, how it changes our relationships to each other and our relationships to power. I think that global relations all over the world just need a reset, and we need to go back to the fundamentals. We've talked about liberty, equality, and brotherhood as core values. What does that actually represent? Especially, like I said, with equality. I think that inequality is perhaps the biggest threat that we're facing in the world today, whether we're talking about vaccines and COVID, whether we're talking about um, finances, you know, illicit financial flows, loss of finances, whether we're talking about environmental degradation and climate change. So going back to the basics, I think, is a great starting point. Do the actions that are taken by French politicians, French uh, public officials, do the actions reflect those three simple values or are they acting contrary to those values? So in the French-Africa relationship, I think what's really missing is that sense of equality, that uh, people are able to openly criticize each other, participate in each other's um, public life, to be um, I guess in communication um, with each other, we see that there's still a little bit of inequality in the way that the relationships are structured. Um, we're seeing a lot of involvement of French, but also just general European government in African um, politics and African public life. And as a citizen, I think your struggle is you struggle to feel like you are the decider, that you are the decision maker in your country's political outcomes. And I think that's a frustration that a lot of young people are feeling, especially on the continent right now, is are we the ones who are shaping our political destiny or is our political destiny being shaped um, by other interests, by decisions that are being taken in other parts of the world?